everyone. And thank you for joining us this month as we study out the series Rise Up and the special resurrection of Jesus. So this month we are learning that Jesus overcame death, that Jesus connects us to each other, that Jesus gives encouragement, and that we are stronger with Jesus. We have two memory verses this month. You can do either one you want or both. The first one is Luke 24, 6. He's not here. He has risen. And the second one is Romans 8, 34. Christ Jesus, who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. So work on those memory verses and let's jump into some singing. <laughs> Good morning, kids. We're going to start off with building up the kingdom first. Ready, set. Building up the kingdom, building up the kingdom, building up the kingdom of the Lord. Brother, can you help me? Sister, can you help me? Building up the kingdom of the Lord. It's so high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get So wide, you can't get around it. You got to go through that door. That's where building up the kingdom, building up the kingdom, building up the kingdom of the Lord. Brother, can you help me? Sister, can you help me? Building up the kingdom of the Lord. It's so high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get around it. You gotta go through that door. Faster! Fill it the key to fill it the key to fill it the key to the Lord. Brother, can you help me? Sister, can you help me? Fill it the key to the Lord. So high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get over it. So wide, you can't get around it. You gotta go through that door. Tell me whose side are you fighting on? I'm fighting on the Lord's side. Tell me whose side are you fighting on? I'm fighting on the Lord's side. I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting on the Lord's side. I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting on the Lord's side. Tell me who's side he's serving on. I'm serving on the Lord's side. Tell me who's side he's serving on. I'm serving on the Lord's side. I'm serving, I'm serving, I'm serving, I'm serving, I'm serving on the Lord's side. I'm serving, I'm serving, I'm serving, I'm serving, I'm serving, I'm serving on the Lord's side. Tell me who's side you praying on. I'm praying on the Lord's side. Tell me who's side you praying on. I'm praying on the Lord's side. I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying on the Lord's side. I'm praying. I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying on the Lord's side. Yeah! Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Vanessa. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV. Thanks for tuning in, kids. Glad you could join us today. We just got back from an amazing hiking trip, so we're a little beat up, but I'm so excited to jump into today's Bible story. Me too, but first, a nice refreshing sip of water. Okay, that's on there kind of tight. Do you need help? I got it, Vanessa. I got it, Vanessa. Okay. Dad! No! Smah! Smooth! Oh, ow. That hurts my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Open the sesame. <laughs> All right, can I help you now? Go for it. Good luck. Here you go. How in the world did you do that? I'm stronger than you are. Well, everyone knows that. But that lid wouldn't budge at all. You have superpowers? Of course not, silly. Well, you did a lot of the work to get it off. But I was able to give it a little extra shove so it would come off. Well, thank you, I guess. I don't think I could have done that without you. No problem. You want to jump into the Bible story? It's about Jesus' final words before leaving Earth. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus' last words? That's got to be kind of super duper important. You better believe it. He was leaving Earth and giving his disciples some pretty important instructions. All right, well, let's quit beating around the bush. Well, it's in Matthew chapter 28. It says, And Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has, get, has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of age. Whoa, that's a lot to take in. Let's break it down. 
So we started off by telling the disciples to go make what? Disciples. He wanted disciples to make more disciples? Yep. Okay, then he wanted them to get... Baptized. Okay, and then teach them? You got it. So Jesus was telling them to go out and do what he had taught them. And the cool part is, is that mission wasn't just for the disciples. It was for everybody who loves Jesus. Oh no. What, what's wrong? Well, I'm in big trouble, Vanessa. Tell me what you're talking about. Well, making disciples, baptizing them, and then teaching them everything Jesus commands us to do? That's a lot, Vanessa. Yeah, but I know you can do it. No, I can't. I'm not that strong. Sure you are. I couldn't even open a water bottle. That's fair. See, I told you, I can't do anything without help. Is that so bad? Of course it is. Jesus told me to make disciples, baptize them, then teach them. He told me to do that. There's no way I can do that on my own. That's the point. What do you mean by that? Do you remember the last verse of the story? Sure, it was about Jesus telling us that he would be with us to the very end of age. Exactly. You see, Jesus promised his disciples and us that he would send a helper to us. Do you know who that helper was? Tom Brady? No way, it was the Holy Spirit. As followers of Jesus, we have the Holy Spirit with us wherever we go. More than that, the Holy Spirit helps us accomplish everything that God has plans for us. Everything? Everything. Wow, that's great news. You bet it is. So just like it took both of us to open the bottle, you'll need help throughout your life to do all the things God wants us to do. I guess you're right. It's an awesome reminder to know that we are stronger with Jesus. I think you just said our big idea. What? Today's big idea is we are stronger with Jesus. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. three. We're stronger with Jesus. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> yeah, we are. I'm really not that strong. It's kind of weird because I do have somewhat muscle definition, but it doesn't. I can't do anything with it. I literally am really weak. It's an anomaly. You know those reef fish? Same thing. And then an enemy. An anomaly. <laughs> those. What an awesome story. Right? I really like that one. Me too. You know what? I had a lot of fun exploring the great outdoors with you. Whoa! It's a pretty cool water bottle. Can I see it? Sure, it's pretty heavy. Vanessa, don't you know that I am stronger with Jesus? <laughs> oh. That was really heavy. Have a good week, kids. <laughs> How was that so heavy? That literally <laughs> took me off the, the chair. What is this, like a thousand pounds? <laughs> it's on my chest and I can't get it off. I feel like it's crushing my chest cavity. Oh my Vanessa, goodness. if you could just maybe call someone. Yep, I'll get right on that. Andy! Andy! Not Andy. Not Andy. Anybody but Andy. <laughs> Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of... Boys and girls. So today we're talking about Jesus's very last words that he ever spoke to his disciples before he went back to heaven to be with God. That's pretty important, someone's last words. And what did he tell his disciples to do? He told them to go and make disciples, right, of all nations, baptizing them, teaching them to obey everything he's commanded, and then he promised that he would be with them always. Those are some pretty great last words. And it seems pretty important to Jesus, right? That we go and teach about him and his father and the good news. So think about, you know, we've been talking all month about the resurrection and what that means to you. What does it mean to you that God gave his only son to die on the cross so that we could be forgiven of our sins and have a relationship with him? How does that make you feel? What are ways that God shows his love for you? What are ways we can show our love for God? One of them is telling other people about him, right? Jesus' last words. Go tell everybody, all nations, right? Tell them, teach them everything I've commanded. Teach them the Bible. That was very important to Jesus. And it should be very important to us. 
that's one of the ways that we can really please God and show our love for him. So let's think about five people in your life that you can tell about God, that you can tell the good news. Can you come up with five people? I think you can. And let's share the amazing love of God with them. Let's share how God works in our life or in our parents' life or our grandparents' life. We can share ways that we know God loves us. We can share ways that God answers promises. We can share things that we've prayed for that God has answered. We can share about the Bible, right? Let's pick five people this week to tell about God and Jesus and the good news. And let's see what God does with that. All right, let's pray. God, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you for sending your son to die on the cross for us so that our sins could be forgiven and we could have a relationship with you. And thank you for showering us with love. Please help us find five people this week to share that good news with and to share about you with. And please bless those words, God. We pray all this in your son's name. Amen. See you guys next week.